All right, everybody. I've had a few questions on my generator setup here. So I thought I would try and go over what I did and how I have it working. So this is the Westinghouse WGen 11500 TFC with a total harmonic distortion of 8%. EcoFlow calls for less than 10%. I went with this generator instead of the uh, inverter version of it because the inverter version only puts out like what five kilowatts or something and i needed more so depending on what fuel i'm running i can charge both battery sets that i have both stacks at three or four thousand each as well as take care of the house at the same time and the house draws you know fifteen hundred two thousand but less, right? If I put it down to minimum, I can get the house down to 600 watts. So with this generator at an 8% THD, right? Total harmonic, I can charge both battery banks that I have, both EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra battery banks and run the house at the same time. So that's why I went with a bigger generator, more output than just going the inverter route, the generator inverter route, because it just didn't put out enough for what I wanted to use. So that's why I picked this unit so i haven't run it for a while but we're going to do a, a start on it just to show you but the cable i used was a simple extension cable for right the 50 amp so i got the plug inside here and it routes into my electrical system back behind the the brake backer board there right into the electrical and i used a angle grinder to cut off the other end right and then brought the wires out from the installation appropriately, but that was the easiest way to cut through it, get to the ends I need, and wire it into my electrical. The main question I have is how I did the muffler. So, I needed, in my old video you can see I had uh, this guy here mounted like this, right? And I thought that this coupler here being just braided would be enough vibration uh, dampening to keep the generator from vibrating against the rest of the mount, just like these rubber mounts here, right? I wanted to make sure I isolated it shaking and I thought this would do it. And it did not, right? It shook itself apart after just an hour or so of actually letting it run. So this did not do the trick. And with that, this sat here like this in the video, I believe. So it was like that with connection to the muffler up here, down here, and this was in line, something like that. That's how it was. It just shook itself apart. So what I did is knowing full well I would need to weld to it, I pulled the muffler off of it because I was not going to weld to this big old electrical device with it connected and risk the electronics in it. So I pulled the muffler completely off, which was not terribly fun. You have to get back in here, maybe you can see it. But it wasn't terrible either. Um, and this is only cut out here because of my first attempt. I had that big bracket in there and I wanted to make room for it. So it's just the shield, so that didn't matter too much. So I pulled it all off, pulled the muffler out, ground it down to bare metal right took off all the coating and whatnot and then i used an inch and a quarter or inch and a half excuse me inch and a half little bushing here and i welded it on threads out so yeah don't judge me for my welding please but i welded oh, does that help at all there we go a little bit i welded it all the way around to the muffler itself so there is no way and on the inside a little bit too without closing up the the whole inside so there's no way that guy's coming off so weld it on the bushing added the coupler to bring it out and away from here so i had some distance was my thought so that i brought it out and i would clear the frame 
put in my 90 all inch and a half right nice and easy threaded and i used the high temperature sealant on all of this all of this has that 1500 degree sealant on all the joints inside so then i got a six foot off of amazon six foot exhaust flex line pretty straightforward simple it was only like 20 bucks so i used the flex line here and did a coil to get it to vibrate in place and i'll show you that when i run it but it'll just sit here and vibrate this way and it separates the the vibration from the engine right here and it stops vibrating i notice right in this area is where it it's stuck kind of stops the vibration because i have it connected to the frame here so i have a, a brace from the frame up to hold it in line with my muffler but this coil is what i was after to take the vibration out this is my vibration dampener with this coil so instead of this which fully did not work and shook itself apart too rigid i put the coil in so the coil let's see if that that coil can take the shaking and not transfer it from the engine to the frame again trying to mimic the rubber mounts in some way and then this muffler is from a honda civic i found in the junkyard that was crushed in the front so i pulled it and some pipes the pipe with it and i was able to use that to sleeve on very tightly you can see the joint here again i have my compound in there just to make sure it's a, a seal and it literally threaded on with this inch and a half i got really lucky i think and it just trying to keep everything inch and a half so that i had enough diameter on the inside for the gases to flow and not provide any back pressure or unwanted back pressure on the engine so i stayed inch and a half and it just simply slipped on and i clamped it down and then a couple clamps here to hold to my brace right i have one on each side of the brace that's how i did it with a couple rubber mounts here so that the the rebar didn't grind into my frame and I did this little wire thing just to hold this up because it would it would come down just a little bit. So I wanted to hold it in this area. That's all the, the bailing wire there is for, but anything's fixable with the wire, right? So Honda Civic muffler. I just guessed on this muffler. I wanted something not too big. Hondas are generally pretty quiet in my opinion. So I figured, why not? Perfectly good muffler. So that's why I picked it. It's just a total guess. And then on the output, I did compression fittings to inch and a half electrical emt pipe or conduit so i did this piece here so that i could do compression fittings to be able to slide this all together um, otherwise i wouldn't be able to connect it very well so this is a a piece that will move if, when i release it so that i can move the engine if i needed to or when i adjust it out here but compression fittings here to another 90 degree emt inch and a half right again with my sealant all the way around it and it's just another one of these pipes and it comes out again here rises compression fittings and then i got an eight foot stick of the same emt up to my stack now up there i did have this guy because it was classic and i wanted to look right just because but this sucker would just sit here and bob and just be loud and it was too loud so i just got me a a coffee can and made just a quick little tent right a little shelter for the exhaust so i didn't get water down it because that's all that's all this guy was doing anyway but it was just louder than i wanted it to be so that'll be up there and just keep the keep the water out and that's all it does and there's a gap up there i probably can't see too well it's a couple inches off the top right just enough to be a hat so there's my setup So again, inch and a half bushing, coupling, 90, and then a little six, six uh, inch extension piece so that I could thread into one side and slip on the other. And this slip worked beautifully. Actually, I filled the threads with my sealant and clamped it. It works great. And then this is probably better angle. This will just sit here and shake and shake and shake. But let me actually show you what it does here and we'll see it in action. Other than that, there she is. We'll, we'll let it run here for a minute.
looking good. I don't know if that comes across on the camera. little run test for you hopefully you can see the shaking on the coil there but it's vigorous on my end i don't know if it comes across on camera hope this helps let me know any questions thanks <laughs>